Hello loves, in today's video, I am gonna teach you how to resize your images for Etsy using Photoshop Elements. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole. I had a top selling Etsy shop and I am a product photographer and I teach makers how to take their own high quality product photos that attract more customers and make more sales for their product-based business. If you find this video useful, make sure you hit the like button. It helps me more than you know. And if you want to learn more about taking your own quality product photos for your product-based business, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. So resizing your images for Etsy is actually a three-step process. So the first step is going to be adjusting to the proper aspect ratio. While Etsy recommends a four, six aspect ratio, your images only display as a four, six aspect ratio in search on Android devices. I test this very often. And when it comes to Apple products, so the iPhone, the Mac, and also with PC, Etsy images, this, the thumbnail display image is still displaying at a five, four aspect ratio. So I, personally recommend using a 5-4 aspect ratio because it's more versatile on more different or more devices, but you can also go with a 4-6. For this specific training, I'm going to be using a 5-4 aspect ratio. And basically what that means is that the proportion of the shape of the image, so how the image is actually displayed in search with that first thumbnail image. And all it is, is it's a shape. So in this instance, for a four six, really in landscape, it's a six four, meaning that for every six units in width, we have four units in height. Now to do this crop, what you're going to do is go over here to the crop tool under modify, you're going to select that. And to do a five four, since there isn't an option here for that, you're going to have to hit no restriction. And you're going to type in five for the width and four for the height and hit enter. You can see down here, and now it says five, four. And then we're going to go in and we're going to crop and frame the image a little bit more. I just want some of these props peeking into the image frame, but we have all of our, our products showing visible. So I'm gonna hit the check mark there. So that is step one. You are cropping to set the proper aspect ratio for Etsy. This right here will guarantee that your image displays properly in search and that your product does not get cut out of the image. Next, you're gonna go to file and we're gonna save for the web. So once inside, save for the web, this is where we are going to do steps two and steps three. Now, all three steps correlate, but it is still is a three-step process. So the first thing that we're going to do inside here is we're going to adjust the actual pixel dimensions of the image. And this is really what resizing is. It's resizing the amount of pixels that we have in our image. So what I want you to do is think about your image as a shape, right? And inside of that shape, there are millions of little teeny tiny boxes that are naked to the eye. Well, all of those boxes, they carry data or they hold data, which creates a file size. So file size is step three. So what I want you to do right here is what our current file size for this image. And when I go to adjust the pixel dimensions, that file size is gonna decrease. Okay, but it also has to end up meeting the recommendation. So let's focus on step two. Step two is resizing the pixel dimensions. So Etsy recommends 2,500 on the longest side, which since they recommend landscape, that would be the width. So we're gonna adjust that to 2,500. You will notice that the height automatically changed. Why is that? Because we've already set the aspect ratio. So we already set the proportion of width to height. So all we have to do is go in and put 2,500 in and automatically adjust our height to 2,000 based on that 5-4 aspect ratio. Now, watch this number when I hit enter. Okay, so when I hit enter on that, it decreased our file size to 2.318 megabytes. Now that's still too big for Etsy. Etsy 
requires that your image file size is smaller than one megabyte. So to adjust that and meet those recommendations, we have to go up here and you wanna make sure this is set to a JPEG. And then here, we're going to adjust the quality. So let's go down, right now we're at maximum quality. Let's go down to very high and see how it changed to 1.111 megabytes, still too high. Let's go here and we're gonna change this to high. And now we have a 60% quality and that changed to 628.5 kilobytes. And that meets Etsy's recommendation of being under one megabyte. Okay, so step one was cropping to the proper aspect ratio. My professional recommendation is a five, four aspect ratio because it's versatile with more devices. Step two was adjusting that pixel dimension. So resizing the pixels within your image. Etsy recommends 2,500 onto the longest side. That would be the width because they also recommend landscape. Because we set that proper aspect ratio before we came in and resized, it automatically resized the height for us. In doing that, it also decreased the file size, but not enough. So we had to go up here and adjust from maximum to high to get our file size under one megabyte so that it loads nicely into Etsy without having any issues. We're gonna hit save. You're gonna rename it. You're gonna pick the folder that you want it in and you're gonna click save. That is how you resize your images for Etsy using Photoshop Elements.